Welcome again to Project with Brian. Today I'm going to show you a new SDS drill. Now, it looks very like the Bosch and I'm going to show you straight away what it's like. I'm going to apologise in advance because uh, I've had this a, a week but I needed to press gang it into work straight away so it's actually been performing very well. So here it is, it's a Katsu product. Uh, Katsu uh, is supplied by AIM Tools in the UK. Um, uh, Katsu, Von Haus and uh, Domnu uh, seem to be very similar in looks, maybe different in colour, you know, but all come from AIM Tools. And there seems to be a good range, they have a good price point uh, for them, which is why I buy them, uh, because I'm, I'm ready to give um, product that's at a good price uh, price point a try. So this is uh, 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 the five kilogram. In my terms, five kilogram. They talk in terms of joules uh, these days. Um, this is the five kilogram SDS. In an SDS drill, what I'm looking for when it's mains operated like this, I'm looking for chisel action. Um, to take out bricks, uh, etc. I'm looking for impact and uh, SDS uh, drill uh, billing for holes. And the uh, third function is, of course, straightforward drill. Uh, you tend to use other tools for straightforward drill, but the third function on these is straightforward drill. So I'm going to take it out of its sleeve straight away. And as I say, I apologise that if you see any dust and marks, it is because it's had some life. Here's the box. Um, stick on label, not quite the same as the Bosch uh, uh, box, but that uh, that's going to lose its, its new look fairly quickly. Open it up. And there's the tool. Now the first thing you might look at in this tool is that has the colour of a Bosch, it's got the look of a Bosch, and I wouldn't be a bit surprised if this is an earlier Bosch design which has been bought up uh, um, and uh, put in use. But it's uh, a, a reasonably handy uh, a tool to use, and what comes in the box is some stuff that I thought was very well done. Uh, uh, by them because you don't often get the ancillaries coming in little packets you know they're, they're thrown in the box but this one has all of the screws all of the uh, um, chisels uh, all of the drill bits and you get a few of different sizes of course uh, the depth, uh, uh, depth gauge the Universal Handbook, of course, and it also has a chuck. The difference with this chuck is it's not immediately fitted uh, with the SDS adapter. That comes in a separate packet. You screw that into the uh, into the chuck and it goes in, and that's for your drilling. So on the side of the, uh, the tool, um, uh, uh, you've got the handle, uh, adjustable handle, and you've got speed control, and here um, you've got drill, drill and hammer, and uh, uh, chisel. Sorry, ch chisel, uh, drill and hammer, and uh, chisel. So that turns by pushing in a little detent and turning it to whichever position you need it to be. Quite useful. Um, and I'm not going to show you it, 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 it drilling today. As I say, it's, it's been working particularly useful. What I wanted to do, though, is introduce you to the Katsu name, Aim, uh, Aim Tools, and to say, because you don't know the name, don't be frightened to buy the product. At the moment, it looks pretty good. This one was about 45 quid. The nearest 
recognised name like a Makita or a, a, or a Hitachi was about £100. So for half price, I'm ready to give this one a good go. And so far, in use, it's actually proven its worth. Thank you again for watching Budget with Brian. Don't forget, subscribe. We're on Facebook and Twitter and I believe on... Instagram. Instagram, I believe. Yes, thank you.